Hello, everybody. My name is Sun, your local totally not a Flareon, legally distinct. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome in. Sometimes you got to do a little refresh if you're sitting in here, but too early. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, we're talking about what Pokemon would be. I know I would be a fire dark type raccoon. Ooh, that sounds cute. <laughs> Throw the Yowie to capture. There's a different capture. Oh, right there. You saw it right there. Pokeball. <laughs> oh, is the Yowie the bait? Yeah, that would probably work. But hello, everyone. Happy Pokemon Day. Uh, today, we are going to be discussing Pokemon. We're going to be watching a little bit of the trailer. There was, a, there was an end bit of trailer in the today's Pokemon Present. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I win? <laughs> Thank you much for the streaks, uh, Spook. Uh, I also have to set up something on my workspace window here. I am eating right now. We're going to spend some time talking. I'm going to be eating. Watch the trailer. Um, but before we do that, you know, let some people come in. I wanted to show off some designs I was working on. I wanted to show off the, uh, the monster high design that I was doing earlier. Because I, I really have no other place or time to show it off. It's what I was going to do today, and then I remembered... Oh, no, like, I... Not that I remembered, but I was like, oh, like, I should watch the, the Pokemon Presents, uh, you know, video to see if there's anything, you know, notable to talk about during the stream. Because I thought, like, oh, I'll, I'll draw some Pokemon, then we'll do other things. No, this is important. <laughs> Started playing more FF, don't know what to do, though. Um, well, it's Tuesday, so that means weekly resets have happened. If you go to the Gold Saucer and you participate, if the... Okay. If the tournament for the Verminion is still going on, as in you go in and like the little scoreboards are still sparkling, register and do one match. If they're off and you did participate in it, claim your your fifty thousand MGP. It's weekly, so you can do um, anything that's on your weekly board, your little weekly journal. Uh, you get you can get started on that because you could do a lot of them in one day, but most of them are attributed to oh do this three times within the week, so that's that's something that you could do. Well, but yes, yes. Let me start with showing off the the designs. Who's familiar with Monster High? Who here likes likes Monster High even remotely? Hmm. Because. Oh god. <laughs> Sun, that's me. Hi, Kaido. Hi. Ray's gonna go crazy. Ray, Ray already went crazy. This is the design I showed him last night. Um, This was actually spurred on by uh, Faye. The artist formerly known as Faye Graves. Currently known as uh, Candy Crypt. I look so cute. I thank you. <laughs> um... So there's a character in Monster High that I adore very dearly, except I hate his design so much. <laughs> so when I saw Faye working on uh, the Laguna redesign, I thought, I can fix him. I, I can fix my boy. And so I started working on designs for uh, two characters, actually. Is it Gary Gorgon? No. Also, that's not his name. It's Deuce. Uh, but this is this is Jackson Jekyll and Holt Hyde. And so that this this is a character based on. Uh, he is both the descendant of Doctor Jekyll, but also he is half fire elemental. So he has an alternate personality that changes forms. But my biggest beef with him is that it, his forms look so different from each other. You would never guess that they're one character. Uh, hey, son, is there a way for this running suit screen to be a wallpaper for wallpaper engine? I would have to learn how to use wallpaper engine. I would have to. I would have to learn that. But I would like to. I would like to figure out something like that. 
So that's a good idea. Uh, so I, I started coloring them in. Let me, let me show off what I have so far. It's my boys! Why did they make Holt blue? Anyway, it's uh, this shy, nerdy boy named Jackson, and he, he's a human. He's half human, uh, or at least he appears to be, so he's, he's ostracized from the other monsters at Monster High. But he has a sort of a more outgoing side. That's his monster side named Holt. Those are so different. <laughs> it's one character, actually. So this is my favorite character. Well, two of them, actually. Um, it's sort of a werewolfish situation, and it varies in the media, but Jackson either turns into Holt when he gets overheated, huh, the fire, the fire motif, or if he listens to music that's, like, really upbeat, and he, he turns into to Holt otherwise. But my biggest beef was, where does his clothes go? Why does his clothes change so much? So I decided to give him a design where when he does transform to the other form, it's still the same clothes, but the clothes are modular. Modular clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you call Smooch and a fox boy? Mwah. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is what uh, my hyperfixation over the weekend has been. That hasn't been video games related. Uh... Cute me. I'm just a, I'm just a itty bitty vapor uh not vaporian flareon. I do have I had plans to make other the other evolution forms. I've had this design sitting around for ages actually. Uh, I I rigged this like way yonder out. I I just kind of fixed up what I had and then exported it out. <laughs> Because I was like, I need a, I need a Pokemon form for Pokemon Day. This is what we got. <laughs> Wait, that is what you are. Yeah, I'm um, I'm a Flareon today. Would you not say that my normal form is very Eevee-ish to begin with? Favorite of Eeveelution. Mine's actually um Glaceon. I don't know how that well that will uh, translate to. You know my my form usually uh it's pokemon today and we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the trailer let me let me close some of these out <laughs> glacian got the bangs on fleek it's just so cute and i had a friend in college who was really into uh leafeon so the two of us would always get stuff that were were paired off as uh glacian and leafeon then divvy up the spoil spoils <laughs> The Sonic pointer figure, listen. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's take a peek. Let's see if I, I have this set up. All right. I'll pause that. There's some music that was playing. When we actually get to sketching and stuff, anything original, we'll, uh, we'll pull up some more music that I might sing along to. I'll give you one guess. My fave. <laughs> Wait, Fetcher, did you watch the trailer yet or anything? The whole thing's only 12 minutes. We could watch the whole thing, but I want to emphasize on the last few minutes. Because the whole the rest of the uh the trailer, the rest of the Pokemon Presents is really just talking about um mobile mobile game events. I'm watching you with you. Uh we can watch it. It's it's really nothing too major, but it's not that long either, so we could do that. Yeah, let's let's get into it. Look at the look, look at the missing no. Oh, also we're gonna be eating. Let me know if I need to make this louder. A little? Okay. It's the Pokemon anniversary.
<laughs> I honk shoot my battles. They have Pokemon sleep. I have to watch the anime. I'm so behind on the anime and I love it so much. Look how cute he is! <laughs> God, imagine Pokemon and Monster Hunter. Catch. Can't wait for that. It's distracted. I'm eating! Pokemon sleep! I have to use this, but it has you, um, it has you run your phone all night, which I don't like to do intentionally. I definitely didn't do that last night. Hmm. So eepy, look at him, big yawn. I know her. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! Also, I need those gifts. I need to catch up. I also need to re-download Masters EX. <laughs> He's just making silly faces. <laughs> this game is so generous for a gacha game. It'd be like, hey, every like two months, log in. We'll give you a free ten pull. Those outfits. They're, these things are so fast, by the way. <laughs> it's very generous. I do like going back just to collect once in a while. I want to play this one more. I need to play this more. It's so cute. <laughs> Unite! I... I wish I liked Unite more. I think it's a bit odd to play a MOBA on the Switch. But I think it's a good game. I think it was just very limited at the start. And they added a lot of things now, so maybe I can get back into it. But I also don't know enough people to play, <laughs> you know? I don't like playing with randos. <laughs> I need to be able to communicate in real time. I play, it is fun. I definitely think so. I was, um, Absol main. Here we go. Pikachu! This is actually kind of exciting. I might get into this. <laughs> Not the milk. <laughs> I 
Is that Moo Moo? Maybe. They sell uh, Moo Moo milk bottles. It's really cute. Look at that! They'll explain it later, but you get two free packs a day. And they're quick battles? Like, I'd probably learn how to play the game through this, like, pretty easily. They didn't even show the best part yet. They didn't show the best part. This. Look at that. It's EB. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? I love... I love, like, how immersive we can get now. Isn't that sick? There's now, like, a new layer to the cards. Like, not only can they be, like, holographic and shiny with, like, you know, 3D effects, we can make them 3D now. That makes them, like, all the more valuable. So when are we downloading? Soon. <laughs> What about the real ones? You might be able to scan them. You might be able to scan them into the app. <laughs> like, look at that. Imagine we can have like way more vibrant colors. <laughs> I love me some digital cards. <laughs> this. I love this. Isn't this so cool? <laughs> Current TCG's online is janky. I feel like... Yeah. I feel like this was their solution to like, oh, you know, online battles are a bit hard to get into. Hard to learn. A bit janky. Coming soon. Alright, you guys ready? I feel like a lot of uh, older card games are like that. You know, they, they, they're they revamping them for the younger audience to get into. Look at the missing, though. <laughs> See you. Hmm? A little question mark missing, now. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. Confidential. Urban redevelopment plan. City. A vision of beautiful coexistence between people and Pokemon. Hear me out. I'm. I have a. I have a thesis on that.
I would not have expected this in a million years, to be honest. Oh, look at that. The, the Litleo family of Furfro. Look at that. Look at that. Lumios Tower in the back. Sylveon. Yeah. We're in Kalos. <laughs> we're, we're in not France. <laughs> That's that's Kalos right there. <laughs> I got so excited. Lumio City. City redevelopment plan. Pokemon Legends Z Dash A Z to A. <laughs> 2025! That's just next year! Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited for this. Oh, and this. Mega Evolutions! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Oh, I'm so excited for all the designs! Oh. Oh, I'm so excited for this. That's where the memes are coming from? Yeah. <laughs> the Pokemon Zaza. Let's go! Also, I have to reconnect my, my V-Bridger for a second. I had a little bit of a hiccup. Let me put on some music. Uh, let me let me go back here. Look at that! Look at that! Mega Typhlosion, maybe. We have a lot of potential for Pokemon, uh, in other generations to get Mega Forms. Hi, so I love a new model. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm 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 a little fella. Ooh, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. But hi. <sighs> I was gonna point out. Oh, here's familiar Pokemon X and Y. That is the sixth generation. Oh, that's me. Why is it the old one again? Why does it keep showing the old one? I sh I changed it out. You guys watched me change this out. Change this out before. Why does it keep showing the old asset? God. Okay. Well. Anyway. Pokemon. XY, Kalos region. It's not France. It is a uh, very modern city. It is the first uh, Pokemon game to implement 3D in the mainline series. After, you know, black and white was the last 2D sprite one. <laughs> Time to clean out your orbs. Sonic Pointer. I'm going to change them now. Now that you pointed that out to me, that's bothering me. <laughs> Epi Cyndaquil. I can do that. But let me very briefly. Let me let me bring this in. I like Texas. I liked it. I like how they were exploring things. Uh like new mechanics, new designs. Very different than what we had before. So let me let me close this out. I think. I think I could probably close this for now. Probably won't use this. Push this to the side. Oh yeah, take a look at my merch. <laughs> um, video. Z, if you're familiar with the story. Zyrogard. That is the, you know, hexagon pattern inside the Z. So what is the A? What do you, why is it so big? You know, what, what is the shape of this? Come on. <laughs> you see, there's something in the lore of Pokemon... Uh, X and Y. That's very important to the story of it. We have somewhere between the span of, I'd say, probably no more than like a hundred years if we do go into the past of uh, X and Y. But we have the history of a war that happened in Kalos 3,000 years ago. And what was a pivotal point of this war? What was the ending point of this war? Why, in fact, it was a super weapon. That that wiped out an entire chunk of the region. What a familiar shape that is. How odd. What a coincidence that they would shape this A in the Pokemon Legends that takes place in the past. How interesting. And like these almost organic-like shapes that, that seem to resemble these uh these patterns on the side of the, the super weapon. <laughs> Past that za. <laughs> hmm. 
hmm, I wonder what they'll do with that. Will we see our our uh, dear friend, King AZ? Who knows? <laughs> Hi, Vin. Every time I fear you have a new YouTuber model, you're so fucking talented. I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So we have a lot to play with. We have so much backstory. I'm pretty sure that uh, Pokemon Scarlet and... Not Scarlet and Violet. I'm, I'm already way behind. Yes! It's Scarlet and Violet. Uh, Scarlet and Violet hint that Area Zero was caused by this weapon. I feel like that's what they've implied previously. I haven't finished the game either, but that's what I've heard. So maybe we'll see how it ties into the modern game series. Who knows? It's AZ in time, then proceed uh, to AZ all over them. <laughs> Wasn't he the big tall guy? Yeah, he was the he was the really, really tall guy from a king. Uh, he was a king back then, from during the war. And the picture of him holding the Flabebe, going, it's been 3,000 years. That's him. So we have about 3,000 years worth of history to go back into Legends with. Who knows what we'll see. It's very exciting. I'm so excited to see what they play with it. I'm going to go away with very minimal expectations you know like i'll take whatever they give me i just like i just like new content you know but based on the games that we already had with legends arceus i'm gonna make a little bet with you guys right what do we think is gonna be the three starters for za assuming that they gave us starters who knows it might just be the gen 6 starters but if they do go for the for same format which is they're gonna give uh three regional variants or they evolve and they have three mega evolutions perhaps uh they're gonna give us starters uh to play with i assume so what do we think is the roster that they're gonna give us for the new pokemon game <laughs> so, hi zg also hi everyone who came in <laughs> are you excited about pokemon as much as i am <laughs> i i want turtwig he's my little guy so I, I already did this, like, earlier today, so hear me out on my logic, right? And then tell me if you agree or disagree. I think they're not going to give us the Pokemon from that generation. Because, I'm again, I'm extrapolating based on what we already had from Legend Arceus, which was a Gen 4 game. They didn't give us any Gen 4 Pokemon. I'm also going to eliminate Gen 4. I, I eliminated Gen 4 just on the basis of, you know, like, we we had that game i don't think they're gonna give us uh, gen one i'm going through my thought process because I, I retroactively went back and forth on this right i don't think they're gonna go with the newest gen uh and then what did we already have we had cyndaquil me thinking they're probably not going to take away, or they're not probably not going to take Pokemon from the same generation because I can hear you fans going, oh, but we already had a Pokemon from, uh, we already had a starter from this gen. Like, why, why'd you do another one? So then Rowlet's also out. And then uh, Gen 5 is also out because we had Oshawott. So then logically you would say, oh, these are clearly the three that we would probably get from. Wrong, because they didn't give us Gen 5. They didn't give us Gen 4 and Gen 4, so why would they give us Gen 5? So here, that was like my preliminary uh, elimination, right? Then I thought, okay, so Arceus picked three Pokemon to redesign and would give them a theming that was based on Hisui, which was like a very Japanese uh, aesthetic region. Uh, very heavily inspired. So they gave us uh, what was it? Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott, who turn into, uh, like, a ronin, a samurai, and, like, sort of like a spirit, like a, a yokai spirit medium sort of thing. Right, right? Then in my head, what can we do thematically that is very French-themed? And I haven't really zeroed in on it exactly yet, but here's my, <laughs> here's my current logic. Piplup, because it uh, evolves into Epoleon, uh, Empoleon, which was based on Napoleon. <laughs> you know, very infamously so. Uh, that, that is the theming after Piplup. And then in the same slide of logic, what if we had 
our, our, our funny little weed cat. Our funny little weed cat that turns into a magician of sorts. You know, a, a dark grass, I believe. Because we have a gentleman thief by the name of Arsène Lupin. A, a, a French uh, gentleman thief. Phantom thief. And then I couldn't really figure out what could possibly be the last fire starter. But I think it would be somewhere between uh, Torchic, Torchic and Tepig. But I really couldn't figure out something else that themed around those two. So, But this is sort of my tentative roster at the time being. I'm probably going to go for uh, Tepig. <laughs> Fuck astrology. Your Pokemon starter is your new sign type. <laughs> new sign. <laughs> but yeah, here's my here's my um my predictions. Let me like set this to a, an overlay. Oops. Yeah, here's my bets. This may change as we see more content later. Who screams the most? Uh, sacre bleu. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's something to do with, like, a... Again, they're gonna be, like, a mega evolution. I could see Piplup turning into sort of, like, a more warlike form. Something a bit more thematic for uh, Sprigatito. I don't know enough about French culture to really say. I know exactly what figures and history there is. Here, Celebrating Sun, streaming long enough to, uh, to reach that I haven't had to miss a whole stream in, like, two months. <laughs> Zuchi, thank you so much for a uh, 20 stream streak. Considering the fact that I normally only stream two times a week means you've caught my streams for like three months now. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my predictions. It could be any of them. Could be none of them. Who knows? Maybe they will give us the... Because I do like the Gen 6 Pokemon. I think they're very cute. Uh, Fennekin, Chestnut, and... Uh, Brokey. I'm a 36. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> 15. Fake fan. <laughs> Petra gets a pass. I see Petra in real life, so she gets a pass. <laughs> I can't do uh, consecutive streams for some reason. Twitch, dumb mobile team that doesn't exist... That's absolutely fine. I'm not holding anyone up to... I didn't even put this streak thing in. That's something for uh, Twitch, for you guys to get bonus channel points in. <laughs> I'm at enough. <laughs> but yeah, those are some things I wanted to talk about. And then I wanted to think about, I don't know, mega evolution designs. Not that I'm like a Pokemon designing expert or anything, but I just like thinking about them. I love seeing fake Mon designs, like fan fusions and all that kind of stuff. I just like Pokemon designs. <laughs> but yeah. If you guys have any input in going, no, but like clearly I think it should be this. You know, I'll I'll hear you out. But that's about it. What else? What else? I guess that's all I really wanted to talk about off the top of my head. I can't wait to see cuz it's like the city redevelopment plan, it can't be that far off in the future. Or in the past, because they clearly already have, like, the technology or the potential for the technology that they want to have in the current games, right? <laughs> clearly, it's all just Cyndaquil. <laughs> you already had a Cyndaquil. As cute as Cyndaquil is. I, I do love Cyndaquil a lot. <laughs> She's a little fella. In the meantime, I'll, I'll doodle a little Cyndaquil uh, here. Just like me, a little fella. A little guy. Where's my pen? <laughs> the fastest little Cyndaquil. Ooh, that's not a lair I can draw on. <laughs> Actually, uh, Syndical has like a, a line. 
I wonder if, uh, if it's like picking up the pieces kind of timeline, like after the war, rebuilding the city better than uh, ever before. And I wonder like when that's going to be because 3,000 years is a lot. 3,000 years is a long time to be in the present time. Like, if we just happen to assume Pokemon takes place in the the year that it comes out, right? So, 2010s, 2020, right? 2010s. When did... When did Kalos come out? It had to be... We're currently on Gen 9. No. Yes. 8? 9. Kalos was Gen 6. So, uh, mid-2010s. Mid to late. So assuming that's when the game came out, just for the sake of, like, cultural references and, and where technology sits currently. Um, that would be, like, a thousand years before AAD. Is that how the year goes? I'm not really sure. A thousand years before the Earth was created. <laughs> but that's insane to think about. When does, when does Arceus take place? Does it say... Because clearly it's close enough that we have certain remnants of architecture and descendants, you know, <laughs> it's present in the modern time. So it's clearly not that far off. What if a Pokemon year length isn't the same as our year length? Who knows? In the sum of it all, really, because ever since Gen 5, we've had seasons canonical in the game. So how many seasons do you go through in a Pokemon game that it's still the same year, you know? <laughs> uh, I think the people we see are the greats, like great-grandfather, great-grandmother. That's not too many generations off then. I think. Asking the big questions here. Listen, I, I've done a lot of study in the timeline of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, for the sake of my my Warrior of Light's backstory, because he is the same age as a historical figure in the timeline. So he's 80 years old right now, look with a baby face. But uh, everything stops in the current year of like 15... It's like, what is it? We're currently in the Umbral Era, the 7th Umbral Era, so it's like 1570-something, and we're stuck there. It's, it's like a five-year gap between 1.0 and 2.0, and we're in a constant time loop. Even though the characters do acknowledge that years pass with their seasonal events, every year passes by, it's still the same year. We technically cannot allow time to continue. <laughs> so everything everything that takes place in, uh, you know, Final Fantasy XIV 2.0 on is considered in a time bubble. There's no, like, precise time that takes place uh, between events. Groundhog year, yeah. <laughs> Groundhog decade. <laughs> this is what I think Cyndaquil looks like. I'm really not looking at the reference on the side, even though I pulled it up for myself. <laughs> Cyndaquil doesn't have a tail, right? Or like, no, it's just round. Because I know even like Quilava and Typhlosion also don't have tails. They have like little, little nubbin. That's a fella. Thunderquill. <laughs> my my version. yeah we're basically just gonna draw pokemon maybe design some if i actually run out of time not run out of time if i run out of ideas of stream then i'm gonna go back to my monster high design <laughs> that's the backup but yeah
I did see a lot of people making predictions for what the presents was going to be about. And a lot of them are like, oh, like, according to this and that, it's going to be something Gen 5. It's not. Which is for better or for worse, because I love Gen 5. Gen 5 is, like, one of my favorite games, period. Not excluding the nostalgia I have for Gen uh, 3. Gen 3 has a bias in my heart. Like a death grip. <laughs> that is real! <laughs> I've worn again. We were just talking about that, yeah. This is my this is my predictions board for uh what starters we're gonna get in, in the new legends. If you can if you can help think of what possible reason we would have Tepig as a starter Please, please help. Because I, I think I have a pretty solid reasoning for, like, the rest of the Pokemon. Which is purely because I, I could tie them back to French historical figures. Because <laughs> I, I think they'll do the same thing for uh, that they did in Legends Arceus, right? Like, they had a Samurai, Ronin, and, uh, you know, Spirit Medium. And obviously, they're going to theme things around the region. We have France. Uh. <laughs> it could be anything else, really. It could be, we could have Poplio. I think a Mega Poplio and um, Mega Primarina would be very cool. Uh, Truffle Pig. Oh, you're so right. <laughs> Gotta pick Arceus back up. Honestly, I, like, I, I have a lot of Pokemon games to finish. Not that I dislike the games, that I just lose time to sit down and finish them. Because I have so much time doing the side content that I'm not focusing at all on doing the main story. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, actually, it's, it's inverted here. <laughs> Oops, all side quests, it's me in any game. Listen, I played, I haven't finished Scarlet and Violet yet. Do you know why? I spent the first hour of the game unlocking the entire map and then i fought the hardest pokemon trainer uh the gym battle which people told me canonically that was the last gym i was supposed to fight and then i didn't do anything else because i was spoiled on the main story anyway so i wasn't interested in doing finding it out for myself <laughs> listen i had to fight the ice gym trainer he's cute <laughs> But yeah, that's that's the experience. Listen, any any open world game that lets you like get a checkpoint to teleport to that doesn't have any like oh you have to you have to walk around this to to progress this. I will get every teleport before I start the story. That's what I did for Final Fantasy 14. It takes half an hour to walk from Gridania to the to Vesper Bay. <laughs> Not even old uh, to Vesper Bay. <laughs> Need to try Skyrim ready Bethesda game? Maybe. Do I have to fight? Can I play the entirety of Skyrim without fighting? I've n I don't think I've ever played Bethesda game. I've had a lot of friends who played them, so I, I watched them play by proximity, but I myself have never played them. God damn it, I keep picking the wrong color. Scuff little fella. One Punch Man mod. <laughs> That'll be a challenge. Lakaya does the naked axe run. Sun does the no fighting run. The the pacifist run. No, that's a lie. It's not that I wouldn't fight things or kill things in the game. It's that I don't I don't like it when they make you. 
you know, it's like, you, you can't pass this area unless you fight. Let me walk around them. What if I don't feel like fighting today? What if I just want to walk in the grass and catch things? You know, so any any game that has it optional, I will I will take the option. <laughs> That's me when I play Zelda. <laughs> I don't like fighting things in a like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Anyway, there's your Cyndaquil. Wait, I'm gonna like let me let me full screen it. HD, take a screenshot. <laughs> There's your boy. I also have to keep eating. Uh, but yeah. This so we got... We got... Pokemon? Also. Who likes... Who likes the side quests in open world games? They're like, Hark, warrior. Blah. Thanks for the catch. <laughs> Hark, warrior. Collect me 500 eggs. <laughs> Pokemon Legends, Zawarudo. <laughs> Listen, Zichi. The Z is clearly Zyrogard. We know who Zyrogard is already if you've played the main story. But the A is the super weapon from the war of 3,000 years ago. Let's launch that weapon. My completion asked Petra. Do you... You know, you play Pokemon games, right? Are you familiar with X and Y? Have you played X and Y before? Or, um, even the next game. I think, actually, this wasn't a thing until, uh, Sun and Moon. I played all but Gen 3. Oh, man, you're missing out. Wait, did you not play, like, the remakes then? Have you not played uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire? But anyway, in that generation, they did introduce... Oh! We have Zyrogard, but you have to collect the little pieces. Do the little, the little bitty, bitty guys. You know Zyrogard come, has like those little like individual cells? And if you assembled a certain number of them, you would have a different percentage completion of Zyrogard. Like 25% form, 50% form. But what do you think they're going to scatter all over the open world of Kalos and make you collect? You want to you wanna take your vets and they're going to do a fetch quest of... Zyrogard cells. <laughs> Does Scarlet Violet have side quests? I don't remember. I didn't finish the game, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I don't know. Zygarde. Here we go. Zygarde. Zygarde cells. Oh, this is like a... Pixels. So if you had one, that's what these little fellas are. These little, these little guys. And then if you had 10 of them, 10% form, 50% form is Zygarde we know, and then 100% is, is whatever this is. If it's gonna be uh, gonna be plot important, I can't imagine forcing you to find them, but maybe there'll be a difference between the story and catchable version. I feel like it's gonna be there, but yeah, maybe there's like a different purpose to collecting them. Like how many uh Arceus had those little spirits, right? You had to collect these spirits for like a character, and they would give you these optional things. Maybe maybe this is for something separate, some kind of separate instance. The Spiritomb, yeah, the 108 Spirits for Spiritomb. I feel like it's going to be something like that. Because, or maybe not, because they already implemented this mechanic in another game. So maybe they're like, oh, we've already done this. Um, I had another thought and then I forgot it. <laughs> what was I going to, what was I going to lead up with? Oh! The Z to A part. I saw a speculation, and I really like the idea of it. Why Z to A? Why not just Z? Because they could just call it Pokemon Legends Z. And I guess A thematically is the, the weapon. So they could call it Z A. Why 2 A? I saw someone speculate that the reason they go from Z to A is because we're going to be allowed to travel 
or progress through time from Z, which is the past, to A, which is the present time. Or opposite, because A does represent uh, the ancient weapon from 3,000 years ago, and Z is technically a bit more modern looking. So maybe we're going to time travel in some way, go through the timeline, and, and see the progression of Kalos being built. Who knows? But that'd be very interesting. Uh, I'd like to see them add side quests with a more uh, fleshed out story with like what you find in Elder Scrolls or The Witcher. Give some world building behind uh, beyond the main story. I feel like there is. Because Kal Kalos plan map. Is there like screenshots of this thing already? Um, Pokemon Pokemon Legends ZA. How would you pronounce this anyway? ZA? 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 Zaza. Anyway, they had this picture. This is like, are you guys familiar with Full Metal Alchemist? I don't know why that reminds me of that. <laughs> it reminds me of the the great alchemy circle around the city. Um, but Kalos has always looked like this. Kalos, like Lumio City, has always looked like this. Which is, it's a big circular city. You can branch off into the different segments of the city, uh, and then. The Lumios Tower is in the middle. It's so vibrant here that it makes me wonder if there's some sort of reason why they're building the tower around this one spot. And then the rest of the town around it. Like, it's some kind of power source? You know? I wonder if there's some kind of story behind that. Where it's like, we found this, this power source here, like, smack in the middle. Let's build a city around it. Uh, I have a theory because they showed the futuristic version of the city and had blueprints. There's a comparison with the original map. It's slightly different, right? Like, clearly, obviously, things are going to change, you know? I'm sure they've, they've redeveloped the city sometimes. I've also, some people assume, oh, this is, um, we're going to the future instead because it's a redevelopment plan. But I feel like that's not the case. You know, why would we, why would we explore the, the future? Oh. Actually, that's not so far fetched of a of a thing, is it? If we if we started off in the past and we do go to the future, we do have future form Pokemon. We have the paradox Pokemon that did come from the future. That wouldn't be that weird, huh? The little circular parts are changed at the very least. Yeah. So I wonder then. I wonder then where when is this development plan being taken place? Hmm. I, I forgot to take into consideration that we do have a time-traveling Pokemon from the future, too. Bring in Mega Evolution if it fits into anywhere. That's in the past somewhere. I do... I used to think a lot about Mega Evolution, and I don't know anything off the top of my head as much anymore. But Mega Evolution... It comes from space. I believe it came from a meteor in space. Uh, and it, and it uh, causes Pokemon to go into the new form... New model. I don't know why, but I think a strawberry is what I see you. <laughs> is, is something about this a bit strawberry-ish? I can see that. It's the red. It keeps me warm because it's a little, still a little bit chilly. Hi, Star. <laughs> uh, there's so much potential to it. We don't know enough. I feel like... Ooh, maybe... What if they start out in the modern time? Go, go hey... We're going to redevelop the city, and then you get sent back into the past, somehow. And that affects how the development plan in the future goes. Ooh, ooh, write that down. Maybe I cracked the code right there. <laughs> I'm small and smoochable. I'm very tall and strong. Oh, my food's getting cold. <laughs> Let me keep eating my food. It's a legend, Pokemon legend, so I'm... Here, here's the thing. I think Legends, at the time being, uh, it's kimbap. <laughs> My mom made uh, kimbap, so I'm eating it. <laughs> As a uh, kielbasa in it. An imitation crab. It's a little fancy. Sorry. I started a sentence and then I ate. I also love kielbasa. <laughs> um...
Ooh, I fucked up there. Ugh, yeah, I just hydrated. <laughs> I'll take another sip. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> At the time being, we only have one uh, Legend series. So, I don't know if they plan to go with the same system or if they plan to do other things with it. But I think that Legends currently is a platform for the Pokemon Studio to do fun, weird, experimental things that like, here's a mechanic we did in one game before, let's bring it back here. Here's here's some kind of item system place that we 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 need to play around with. They have the the basis of the the game, which is an open world uh, catching system. I don't know if we have a name for it yet. Um, with overworld battles and overworld encounters, I think that it has a lot of potential for some fun things. Let Pokemon do weird experimental stuff. Let game studios, you know, have fun with their spinoffs. And then see where that brings them in the future. You know, if they if they stick too much to a formula and then at some point in the future go, we want to change it up and people go, no, nah, we don't like that. You know, what are they going to do about it? So let them let them be funky with their spinoffs, I think. That's what that's my opinion. So I'm uh, so I'm going in with zero expectations. Just like the regular combat, but. Uh, I just like the regular combat way, but let's see what happens. Yeah, if people like, you know, the normal combat, then stick to the main series. Me, personally, I wish there was another uh, Pokemon Ranger game series where I physically have to catch the Pokemon by spinning 200 loops around the Pokemon without the loop being touched or broken, and they're going to attack the loop and all that kind of stuff. You know, that was a weird one. They, they made three games that fucked off with that. I want to see them bring that back. Bring back that mechanic. I miss being a Pokemon Ranger. <laughs> I would bring... My... My love letter to Pokemon, my fan letter, would say, Dear Pokemon and Company, I like the Pokemon games very much. Please bring a game where it is entirely just taking care of Pokemon and entering them into com uh, contests. Thank you. I would play an entire game that's centered entirely around... Pokemon contests, the the beauty contests. There's a battle part of the contests. We had a Pokemon musical mini game. I missed that. Let me put a funky little hat on my guy and have them dance on stage. Uh, idea, Pokemon, but dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. Well, we have those in every game. <laughs> we have a fossil system. Uh, but one centered around that would be very fun. Rip Pokemon Pinball. Pokemon Vet Simulator. I want a Pokemon Nintendogs. I want a Pokemon styled like Nintendogs. Let me take, let me give them a little bath, but like more immersive. They kind of have some features like that, but I can't take them for, for walks the same way. You know? I want something a bit more immersive, which we used to have in X and Y. Actually, I think X and Y had the best, uh, between X and Y and Sun and Moon, uh, had the best uh, Pokemon care system. I believe X and Y introduced the Pokemon Ami uh, system, where if you had a 3DS with a camera that faced you, you can make faces, and the Pokemon would make the face back at you. If you made a smiley face, they would smile back, back at you, and I miss that every day. Let me feed my Pokemon macaroons, macarons, and, and, and smile, and Pokemon in the cheeks. Uh, but Harvest Moon runs Pokemon. There's a little bit of battling. You have to do contest battles with your prized cow horse Pokemon. I feel like we could do that in Legends. You know? I feel like Legends have the potential for like a much more rural setting where that's a lot more common. Um, when I first played my Pokemon game, I genuinely didn't enjoy. Uh, it was Scarlet. That was the first. And I saw a Jade animation video. They seem funnier. It depends on the experience for everyone, I think. You know, it's kind of like, what are you going into it expecting? Uh, I think for someone like Jane and Animations, who is a lot more uh, experienced with Pokemon, you know, has kind of grew up on it. Similar to me, I also grew up on Pokemon and the Pokemon spinoffs. You sort of have, uh, you know what you want to get into and you have your expectations set for the games. Pokemon Legends of Unova, but it's all Texas instead of New York. <laughs> 
I think... Now, here's the thing. We, we have a glimpse at that because Pokemon Black and White has a, a split in its timeline. That's sort of the, the difference between two games. It's actually a different timeline between each. One is a lot more modernized version where you have like the tall cities, sk skyscrapers and such. Uh, we also have a version of the game, I think it's white originally. It's White Forest, Black City. Or I could be wrong. White City, Black Forest? I don't know. But the other game had, oh, like, things are more underdeveloped. They have a city. Uh, instead of a city, they have a forest as the final region. Also, hi, comedy. Thank you so much. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a fella. <laughs> Black City, White Forest. Okay, I was right. Um... And thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> uh, white has the black legendary. Black has the white legendary. And they switched it in two. And me going, I just like uh, Reshiram, but basically the same game twice. <laughs> Instead of going, yeah, I'll, I'll get the opposite version and then have both legendaries. I just wanted two Reshirams. Because, because Reshiram has the silly face that I like. <laughs> is that grandma's daddy i i beg to differ uh <laughs> matt and you um but yeah i think we already sort of see something like that in some of the in the games where they have you know uh we see the difference in timeline black and white had a movie it had two movies come out in the theater that were different timelines. If you saw one movie, it was a slightly different than the other movie. So it depended on which one you went to. I actually didn't finish watching it, but I remember that being the premise. And it was so fascinating to me. It was like, which one did you want to see? Which timeline did you want to watch? Because it depends on the characters that you meet and the places that you go. I think there's so much in the world of Pokemon where this is all one linear world. This all takes place in the same world. It's not like... um say final fantasy where each install uh, each installation of the game is you know has its theming has its combat system and names but is entirely a different world in each one the pokemon game does take place in a in a linear fashion you meet the same characters throughout you go to the same regions you can visit them uh they're all on a single map so i think that while sometimes things are a little bit hazy in terms of like linear timeline. I, I think that there's a lot that we could play with that just isn't explored and we can always introduce new things. But yeah, I'm just very excited. Uh, the game tech takes place in my hometown. <laughs> Wait, which one? We're talking about this one? We're talking about Legends Arceus or uh, Legends ZA. Legend Za. I feel like they, they missed the opportunity to spell legends with a Z. You know, I don't know why. I just think it'd be very funny. <laughs> legend Za. <laughs> but yeah. I definitely have some some friends who are very into Pokemon that I need to discuss with them. I think one of them is live right now, and as much as I would love to go into chat and and gush all my ideas adam ah unova i see i see i want pizza <laughs> legend shala head shala <laughs> i think that's all i have on the top of my head i'm also just happy to talk to you guys about this instead of doing anything what are y'all staring at me for what are you what are y'all staring at me at hmm Stop looking at me with them big ol' eyes. It would look so boot like I'd love it. <laughs> what y'all staring at me for? I'm gonna stop that. Stop staring, I'll start banning you guys. I like talking streams. I also like talking streams. I feel like I have to do with a little productive something, you know? Get something out of it. <laughs> Ban my 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 mouse is over the band. 
Ooh, so tempted. Because you're cool. <laughs> Mudkip smooching another mudkip, you get one. So uh, make that adjustment, or we're I'm I'm taking your beans. A Pokemans, just one. I'm trying to figure out if you're Fire Mario. I'm not. <laughs> Why would I be Fire Mario? You just want a mudkip going smooch? I definitely know what a mudkip looks like, right? I'll redeem the being smooch mudkip once cooldown. I've I've got some news for you, pal. <laughs> I guess you'll figure it out. Uh, Fire Mario stuff would be funny. It would be funny. I guess. I guess it's like the red and white, huh? Arno man. It's one per person, isn't it? Always has been. And I don't like drawing. Two of the same Pokemon in a row. Uh, also, for the stream motif uh, motor question, all I know is not Vaporeon. <laughs> Kaido, listen. I used to make it a, a rule that it has to be a Pokemon I've never drawn before. Is this what a Mudkip looks like? I know I said Gen 3 is my favorite, but also I haven't drawn every Gen 3 Pokemon yet. Thank you for a Mudkip once, I believe. I think I drew most of the starters already. Is it the X and Y theme? It's a playlist of X and Y music. I could switch to I could switch to uh <laughs> actually the playlist is just about ended. <laughs> you guys wanna listen to uh, all the Pokemon English theme songs? Also love the model, thank you. <laughs> uh I remember when those used to be uh those used to be for Petra Stream. Yeah. For some reason it was just like Really lag the streams whenever she would load them, though. Yes? Okay. The playlist is fairly long. And it's it's gonna go in order. You know, so... There's not much I could do about that. Is that too loud? It'll get quiet when I talk, though. Pokemon! <laughs> oh, 
always been our dream. <laughs> I'm gonna be so off key in the VOD. <laughs> Well, must have failed. Is that squanch enough? Are these all the full the full songs? Oh no. I don't think I know the full versions of all the songs. <laughs> I think I think some of us are all going to be in a surprise. Cuz I think some of them might be edited down like a lot for the TV. <laughs> also, there's going to be like a point where I just don't know any of the lyrics to to one some of the songs cuz I Gen 4 and 5 I probably stop listening. Oh. Do you? Oh God! <laughs> Do you have the skills to be number one? I'm realizing there are some lines that they cut off, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all live in a Pokemon world. I want to be the master of them all. Mm. Better than all the rest. <laughs> God, some of these older ones. I feel my hair becoming frosted. <laughs> the openings go so hard. Live in a Pokemon world. I want to be the master of them all. <laughs> Heroes come back. <laughs> Better than all the rest. Want to be a master of Pokemon. Number one. I should I should learn the lyrics and do like a Pokemon karaoke. Anime fan songs where they get a bunch of singers to sing as characters in a row. Yeah. In a Pokemon world, I wanna be the master of them all. In a Pokemon world. Do the test to be better than all the rest. In a Pokemon world. Let me let me bring my mic in closer so I'm not just mumbling into nothing. <laughs> all the rest. Mm. 
Man, the To Be A Master album, Gen 1 had a, a an album called To Be A Master that I grew up on, and I feel like had such a heavy influence on the music I like now. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skills. Everybody wants to get there faster. Make the way to the top of the hill. <laughs> you try. Each step you climb. One more step up the ladder. It's a whole new world we live in. It's a whole new way to see. It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude. But you still gotta catch them all. Be the best that it can be. Pokemon Now it's there, huh? And I won't know it if it's a long version. <laughs> I got the words wrong. No, it's okay. It's just a little rusty. <laughs> it's a whole new way to see. It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude. But you still gotta catch them all. Be the best that you can be. I want to color the liner of this one. Attitude. Best that you can be. I don't know what else to draw, to be honest. I didn't have any other plans. <laughs> Randomizer. Happy Pokemon Day! I was gonna request... Petra, what do you want me to draw? Oh. Thank you so much for the follow, Ivory Bat. Hello, hello, welcome in. I'm just jamming out today to some Pokemon. I like numbers 200. Yeah. Give me, give me a number and, 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 yeah. Petra, have everyone give a number and then you pick your favorite out of the selection. Happy Pokemon Day! <gasps> this is one of the it takes from the first one no one ever was my whole life has led to this talk to test my skills and no I just can't miss gonna show the world <laughs> this is where they shout Johto Champion Born to be a winner Born to be the very best Pokemon Johto <laughs> Pokemon 673 Pokemon Volcarona I need to, like, not look at them. <laughs> I'm gonna do this from memory. <laughs> to be a winner. Born to be a champion. Born to be a winner. Born to be the very best. Uh, otherwise, 
Ooh, go goat. Go goat's the big one or the small one? That's all I'll ask is is if I'm confusing it another line. I think it's the big one. Yes, big. What do I what do I think what do I think? Why do I think it has like this face? Roots. I stick to the path that I choose. I do it right. Oh. This is the f This is the full version. <laughs> I believe. I don't know this version of the lyrics. Why do I think? I, t I can see it in my head, but there's like details I can't quite remember. This is your Pokemon? All I got to do is believe in. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know the full version. Man, and I love Go-Go, too. Why have I never drawn a Go-Go before? The OG song? It's an order. So it was first. Do it again. I was getting out food. It's okay, because I think one of the, um... Uh, one of the later generation songs does is like a, a redo of it. It's like a, a, a rock cover. Where are your ears? I'm sorry. You have like cute little ears. Maybe it's actually more like this then. Because you have like cute little ears, don't you? We'll hear, we'll hear them here and there. Ah! <laughs> Hi. Ooh. Pokemon! What's my favorite shiny? Ooh. I don't know. Wanna be a hero. I don't love this one. But, yeah, it's Pokemon Advance. So it's my favorite gen. But I, I like the other songs from this gen. This new sunny is looking great. Why, thank you. <laughs> I sees. Every trainer has the choice to listen to the voice inside. Though the battle may be long. Winners may have come and gone. I will carry on. Yeah, this dream will last forever. This dream will never die. We will rise above my channel every time. Advance challenge. <laughs> this shows that you and I will be the best that the world's ever seen. Because we'll always will follow our dream. Pokemon! 
<laughs> Can you tell that I like this generation of Pokemon anime? <laughs> I'm unbeatable. Walking down this endless highway with nothing but my friends beside me. We'll never give in, we'll never rest. Advanced battle is the ultimate. <laughs> They could never win, but they sure can try. Whoa, I'm unbeatable. Pokemon Advance Battle. Whoa, I'm unbeatable. In the ancient past, they come to play, but they'll never last. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that This one goes hard. I also like, um... I, the like the video like the opening for this one's cool i missed up some of the words though when is the last time i heard any of these i'm unbeatable pokemon advanced battle you also gotta love it when they shout the season name <laughs> The baby one is all green. Wait, that means the big one... I don't know, this, this is not in the opening. I know the horns are black. Advance battle! Whoa! I'm undefeatable! Ways lose! I'm unbeatable! Pokemon! Oh, they didn't say Pokemon at the end! Ooh, I got copped out by that! <laughs> they got me. I was bamboozled. It's a battle, winner. <laughs> it's the road you choose. You got the right stuff, so make your mind up. Find the courage inside of you. If you're strong, you'll survive and you'll keep your dream alive. It's the battle frontier. Pokemon. Find your destiny. It's the master plan. The power's in your hand. Pokemon. <laughs> Interesting. If you're strong, you'll survive and you'll keep your dream alive. It's the battle frontier. Pokemon. And find your destiny. It's the master plan. The power's in your hand. Pokemon. <laughs> Suddenly, 2004. <laughs> I feel like I, I think that was the last Gen Three one. Unless there's one I don't. Oh, this is the one that goes Diamond and Pearl. As you fight for survival, Diamond and Pearl Pokemon. You can change the world, Pokemon. Why do I remember that one? That was so short. Was that it? <laughs> Some of these really are just opening jingles, huh? Is that like a Digimon opening? Yeah. It sounds like one of the way later ones. They all go hard. Heroes. I think this band does a later one. We will oh. go. Battle to match this Pokemon. They just do jingles, huh?
which way you're supposed to go. This feels right. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Some openings go so hard. I have a factoid. Go ahead. I wish I wish watch the Sun and Moon anime more. Because it's so cute. Wow, that's crazy. It looks like this is still Diamond and Pearl. I know one of the black and white ones just straight up say black and white in it. This one says this one hasn't said the name of the series it's from yet. You know, it doesn't it doesn't go quite as hard as poke uh Pokemon Advance Battle. <laughs> Like a, a fucking uh, sleeper agent. <laughs> it's about me. It's about hope. It's about dreams. That's all I know of this one. <laughs> Why do I know that so long? <laughs> that one line. Time for adventure, Dominant Pearl. <laughs> yeah. Some of these aren't bad. They just don't, they're just not as catchy. This feels right, but also I feel like I'm missing something here. Black and white. My new way, hard to make new friends. But there's nothing you can't do, cause you've got the power inside. It's not always black and white, but your heart always knows what's right. It's not about win or lose, it's the path you choose. Let the journey begin. <laughs> I started way too high. I couldn't do any of those notes. <laughs> And I think this is the same band. I think they do all of the black and white openings. <laughs> I have... Unless I do a falsetto. <laughs> Friends forever now Whatever comes our way We will run away Pokemon Oh, I thought they were gonna go Pokemon Okay, this is like a It has another line to it Cool <laughs> You could be like, this is a Pokemon song. If we just end the last line with Pokemon. 
You just have to say Pokemon at the end, right? It's forever now. Whatever comes away, we won't run away. Destiny. Pokemon. Oh, they said at that time. Yeah. And add Pokemon to the end of any song, and then it becomes a Pokemon theme song. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. Any, any like, soft rock or pop song, punk pop song. <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't know this part. What would you call this genre of music? No, because you, you could hold on to the horns. Anime theme in gen- I mean, anime openings can vary. They'll go. Pokemon! I love hearing different versions of anime themes. The bridges are sometimes really cool and interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you think? Oh, the ultimate goal. You, uh, Gorgeist. Oh, also, hello. Also, I like this opening, but I don't know it as well. I don't know. This band is really nice. I don't know who sings this. I should I should look into that. I'm actually gonna look that up really quick. Who sings? Who who sings? Oh. Black and white theme song. It's just two people. I'm sorry. Is there... It's, it's these two artists, Eric Bowman and Joe Phillips, their only notable work... They do other music, but their only Wikipedia notable work is the Pokemon theme songs. That is insane. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I have enough room to do Gorgeist here. They're funky shaped. I know, I know they're, they're tall. They have little flower flower hair. It's kind of stem, but it also looks like the hair, doesn't it? Is this the one? Yeah. Train them is my cause. Power that's inside. There's, there's too many Pokemons. Pull us through.
They have arms. Wait, where do the arms come from? It's part of the leaves? That? Something like that, right? That's too many Pokemons. <laughs> I'm digging the cover, though. <laughs> What's up, fuckers? Hi, Jeff. Happy Pokemon Day. They're making a new one? They're making... Do you know, like, the Legends Arceus game? They're making one for X and Y. So, Kellos, we're going back to France. I have no idea what you just said, but huzzah! Um, they're making a prequel, basically. We assume. Aha! Yeah. All the Legends game have to do with, like, the past or some kind of, like, historical time. Why does this sound like a Fallout Boy? <laughs> I know I can't see one of the eyes. Legends Arceus, where this weekend was like a dinosaur? No. That's just the newest game. But there might be time travel. Jeff, have you ever seen the meme? Have you ever seen the meme of like the old guy holding the little flower Pokemon going, it's been 3,000 years. That's, that's X and Y. We might be going back to 3,000 years ago. Who knows? <laughs> Neat. Look like this? I'm also not checking these. I'm just entirely convinced that I'm doing a good job. But I know the eye glows. And then we're listening to all the Pokemon openings. And I might put on to be a master afterwards. Who knows? Oh, I love this one. Heat on my skin. I could feel every day I'm a little bit stronger. I wish each day was longer. Yeah, we're having fun in the sun. Week after week, it's just like we're on vacation. Yeah, it's like, it is Ska. <laughs> Okiska. Under the Alolan sun. Pokemon. Gotta end it with a Pokemon. Was that the last one? Okay. To be a master. <laughs> Album. How do I take out the ones that might make me cry? <laughs> 
how do I take out the to be a master songs that are gonna make me cry? Like guaranteed. <laughs> um I'll deal with it when it comes up. Sure. I'm keeping an eye on the volume to make sure I don't peek you guys. Wow. Go! I also don't know how to rap, so if I just mumble words that make no sense, then that's that. <laughs> you want to be a Pokemon master. We're still in the test and be the best of. Pokemon of Capture. To be a master, Pokemon master. A brand new chapter. What do I call this genre of music? It's just rap? It's not. I don't know. Yeah, Jamal. I should start with the darker color. Ah! Master. This looks sick. I'm I'm hoping I'm doing Gore Guys justice. I'm hoping I'm correctly remembering. It feels off, but it doesn't feel wrong. <laughs> I think these are all leaves. Like this? I feel like it's more pink. It's not dark, but like this? This feels better, but the eyes stand out more. This feels like a Gorgeist. <laughs> Is that right? That feels right. Let's go! <laughs> I want to make the, the insides glow a little bit. You're a Pokemon. Oh, come on. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Gogo is a Kalos Pokemon also, so that's perfect. I'd love to see a, a Mega Gogo. Ah. Oh. Oh, the song ever. What kind of Pokemon are you? How do you do the things you do? Share with me a secret deep inside. What kind of Pokemon are you? Are you loyal through and through? And do you have a heart that's true? What kind of Pokemon are you? I like Kalos as like a, a designs. They're so fun. The normal type like Jigglypuff. It goes against the gang. The battle's real tough. Thunderbolt's a great electric attack to get ground out by a Marowak. 
How do you do the things you do? Me, with the counter P for flying types, the wind's easy. Good luck with bucket, it's poison gas. Make one wrong move and I'll kick your grass. <laughs> I've thought about that line since I was a kid. <laughs> What kind of Pokemon are you? Are you loyal through and through? Do you have a heart that's true? What kind of Pokemon are you? Fire, the flame or yawn. Think twice about ice to be number one. Water's in order if you want to be slick. Mew twos to get past when get sidekick. I almost missed up the lines there. <laughs> Your fighting moves is rock and roll with Geo Dude. G comes first when you choose Dragon, but evolution's the solution if you're gonna win. The starters are really good. What kind of Pokemon are you? Are you loyal through and through? Do you have a heart that's true? God of Pokemon are you? Keep on training until you're stronger and faster. Just can't stop till your powers are max. My name is this. Gotta catch them all. Get them in a Pokeball. What kind of Pokemon are you? How do you do the things you do? Share with me a secret deep inside. What kind of Pokemon are you? Are you loyal through and through? Heart that's true. What kind of Pokemon are you? Me, your secrets deep inside. What kind of Pokemon are you? You have a heart that's true. What kind of Pokemon are you? <laughs> so it's a Flareon and he's singing. Yeah. <laughs> this this is literally what I'll be singing when I'm like doing the dishes. Like this exact song. <laughs> Pokemon you. Sun is the best mood. <laughs> I'd like to attribute my love for uh, rap, punk, and uh, ska to Pokemon. You're welcome. Ah, uh, and I will be with you. Ah, uh, this makes me sad. <laughs> All the times that we have been through. You will always be my best friends. <laughs> Send the quill for the thousandth time. Let's go. Also, I'm going to start sketching what I think a Kalos Meowscarada would look like. That's what just the rest of the stream is going to be. Until someone else claims another Pokemon Doodle. <laughs> what does, like, Arsene Lupin look like? I will be with you oh, Where our dreams come true We have been through you will always be my best friend. Hello, new person. May I call you Emu? <laughs> new nickname. Maybe not as new as you think. <laughs> Well, I'll key change. <laughs> uh, 
all the times we we have been through you will always be my best friends How different are how different were the Hisuian You will always be my best friends. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> You will always be my best friend. Same shape, different details. They 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 vary. So similar. In fact, I will just draw on top of Meowscarada. Oh, here's here's one that's gonna make me sad. How do I skip? How do I skip to? Ah! Also one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that's a fair assumption. Readers of a grand design. I'll be the Joker of crime. <laughs> Double troubles, like a good song. I just don't know it as well, like lyrically. To protect the world from devastation, all people within our nation. Announce the evils of truth and love to extend our reach to the stars above. Blasting out the speed of light. Surrender now. Or prepare to fight. <laughs> it's an LGI song. Oh man. <laughs> Thematically, that'd be so good. <laughs> I solve. Just as, uh... <laughs> um, no, you, you have, like, the little, little kitty form of Justa. That would mean... I could see Soph in the getup. I don't know about Justa, but he could also look good in a crop top. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I can see it. Pretty hot. <laughs> now, if we were to retype Meowskarada, what would fit a phantom ghost? Ghost grass. Oh, wait. Sorry, I got like really excited over my own idea. <laughs> Is it already ghost grass? Is it Meow Scarada dark grass? Right? Uh, for anyone who's just coming in, I am redesigning Meow Scarada based on the new news we got. I think this is a good base, and I'm just gonna start designing over this. Because <laughs> I made the prediction. Here's my here's my prediction roster of uh 
ZA starters. Uh, Piplup Tepig Sprigatito. Yeah, so... Uh, Decidueye is ghost grass and I think became fire grass? Did it? Wait, what is Decidueye in Hisui? Oh, give me the stats. What did it become? Fighting. It became fighting. That's what it was. So the secondary changed. Uh, this is just more... Here, poker wrap. So, I thought I would change the secondary type. My, my logic for picking these three for Kalos was uh, Empoleon, based on Nap Napoleon, Meowskarada, based on Arsene Lupin, and I don't know, Tepig was just the process of elimination. <laughs> That's that's the logic train. I did like um French like a, a French the Fleur de Lis. I love doing a quest and a fate spawning on top of me and immediately killing me. Oh meta. Did you did you hear the story about the fishers that all died during a rare fishing time slot? to a fate that killed all of them instantly. It was tragic. If they had Incineroar, I wonder if they would get an old-timey boxer evolution. Ooh, maybe. See, um... So my process of elimination was... Uh... I just have to redo this, right? No Gen 1, no Gen 6. Because in the original X and Y, we've got a Gen 6 starter and a Gen 1 starter. So I don't think that they would divide up, oh, you only get a Squirtle when they already have Mega Evolutions. Because I think they're going to be normal, normal evolution line, but have like um, a themed Mega Evolution or something. But I also, also just like to think of, you know, regional variations, because I like that. Uh... We never had a starter team. That's just the Pokemon. Uh, a full team? I mean, we have quadruped starters. Just not a full team. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. Absolutely take a break. There's no rush. Um, so here's my, my second layer of eliminations, right? We already had Cyndaquil as a starter. So that's out. We already had uh, Oshawott as a starter, so that was out. And then we already had uh, Rowlet as a starter, so that's out. And then I just assumed they wouldn't do one for the newest generation. So this is what it basically eliminated. Uh, but then I thought, maybe that's a bit too narrow-minded. Maybe they would do the last generation. Um... And thematically, I think actually Superior would fit Grass more. But I thought it would be, you know, initially too odd to have Oshawa and then Superior. Maybe, maybe this is how they hit towards the Gen 5, you know? The starters are wedded, uh, waited for by Petal. Uh, I mean, how many of the starters start as Bipedal? Also, like, what was I listening to before? Just, like, this, the music? Right? Like, XY music? Pop Snaller. Because, listen, Superior is based on uh, the design motif of a fleur-de-lis. Fleur-de-lis? Uh, because all of the Gen 5 starters are worldwide cultures. I believe. Or something like that, right?
give my boy Chespin Omega. I think they will. I think they'll they'll bring back a bunch of Pokemon for uh giving Mega Evolutions. But I like these are gonna be like the three that they give you just for variations, you know. If they do Tepig, his final evolution would have cheese, cause French. I think Jeff came in before. Someone came in before and mentioned the Truffle Pig. Was it Vortigan? One of my mods came in and said that. <laughs> Or, uh, two-thirds of them. Yeah, because who- yeah, who's a bipedal? Like, from start to finish. Bulbasaur. Chikorita. Uh. Ooh. Can Mudkip stand on- can- can Swampert stand on two legs? Or is that sort of like a... Not preferred. Probably Vort. Samurai actually becomes quadruped. Um, none of Gen 6. And then technically what Coco, I'd say, right? We already have a gator with cheese. We don't need a pig with cheese. All the fire starters must have a craft single cheese slice slapped onto their design. Was probably me. Vorgan doesn't even know. We'll never know. <laughs> Is Superior the only one that ha uh, becomes no legs? Superior does have legs. Did you know that? Superior actually has uh, arms, not legs. Superior. <laughs> yeah, he's got arms. I just gotta find a good picture that shows them. Here. What? <laughs> Let me find, like, a, a back sprite. Here we go. Yeah. Here's the good stuff. They're just folded behind his back. Do you see, do you see these? Because he is doing, like, a little hands behind the back, like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how many people actually chose superior. Hmm. I definitely had a friend who had a superior. Doing the pose. So yeah, actually. So Snivy does lose the legs, but they keep like the little arms and, and they're and they're here. These these are the arms. They're they're like folded behind his back. I like to do a run with every starter. I I just wait till I see the final evolutions, and it happens to be I'm biased towards the water starter designs, I think. I think that's just me. I thought it was like a cloak. Uh, it's a very simple design, but I think in the uh like the Pokemon musical minigame, you can put things in Superior's hands. And like they'll spin around and stuff. <laughs> also, bring back Pokemon musicals. <laughs> I do not care for the Twink Duck. Someone does. Someone out there cares for the Twink Duck. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of mechanics that I think they could make for a very good spin off game by itself. I use it up for the whole game until you involve. Ah. Is it you, son? Do you care? Not me. But I do have friends. Particularly a, a Dullahan who cares very deeply about this duck. I get a female duck and I love her. I named her Peachy. Aww. <laughs> oh, Cleo's good. Cleo's good. She's very busy with some IRL stuff right now. Like, uh, it, too busy to, to play games even, but she's doing the good, I think. I'm just staring at pictures of Superior. <laughs> oh, here's even a here's even a picture pointing at his little arms. 
<laughs> yeah. Let's look at Hisuian Decidui, because I think it looks the most different stylistically from normal Decidui. Give me like a clear up the sprite. Jeez. Really looking Quaxly so on brand for extremely, extremely so. Anyway, here's here's my list for who I think will be the starters. And I want to turn a phantom thief Meowskarada. Like, that's such a good idea by itself that I want to do that. I want to give him a hat. Hat and a monocle, I think, are the two sort of like gentleman motifs, very typically. And then the thief part is kind of like the cape. I think the cape would be more like full, I guess. No, we don't. That's a stupid argument. Wait, what is? We need more snakes with no legs but hidden arms, and they wouldn't be snakes, would they? Oh, we need more quadrupeds? Like starters, or just in general? I think maybe we've had a lot of bipedal starters. And I think if we, we need to go back to our roots a little bit, but I'm, I wouldn't say that it makes a design better or not. I think it's more for a balance thing, you know? I think, I think we just, I just want to see more of them again. Because I think... Because Fue Coco... The final evolution of Fue Coco does stand on two legs. Harder to balance on four legs. But they're they're more sturdy. That's why a lot of the uh, grass types, I feel like, tend to be quadruped. Because it's a, it's a lot more sturdy. Because even Samurott, who is quadruped, uh, doesn't necessarily... Can stand on three legs. Because one, one holds a sword. It's dexterous. <laughs> Samurott's very dexterous. Thank you for the hydrate. But I think, um... We need to see... We've, we've had a lot of bipedal and bipedal with big hand. If we see another bipedal, I would like it to be wyvern-esque. Give it wing hands. Give me, give me a flying subtype. Guys, let's make our own Pokemon region. <laughs> I feel like that's just so doable, you know? I used to have one. I used to have an idea for a uh, Pokemon starter region. Um, and the starters... Hear me out on this, right? The starters were based on a, uh, cryptids. Because, you know, each generation sort of has like a theming for all three of the starters. Um, and so I had a, a, a rabbit, like a, a jackalope. I had a monkey-like sa Sasquatch. And then I had a, like, a, a water-type Loch Ness Monster Chameleon. Sound a little bit familiar? A monkey, a rabbit, and a, and a lizard? For a generation starter, huh? Wait, those sound so cute? They might, but they're also the exact starters of <laughs> fire type it was a fire type rabbit, a grass type Sasquatch monkey, and a and a water type Loch Ness monster lizard. <laughs> Nintendo where sons royalties. And I made this like I remember I made this around the time that Sun and Moon came out. That was Sun Moon, right? No, this would be, um, not England. Well, what, what, 
<laughs> Wait, what was the, uh... Not sun and moon. My brain's blinking on that generation. Sword shield. Yeah, that was sword and shield. So I I drawn up predictions for what the uh the Pokemon would evolve into based on my uh my generation. It was a very simple theming. I didn't go too heavy on it. Actually, I had two Pokemon sort of stories growing up. One was uh, one was like a Pokemon region I was making with friends. And then one was one that I made for a very original Pokemon webcomic <laughs> back in the peak of webcomic days. Because Soccer Rabbit is English. All of them are English. It was, um... It was, like, rock, soccer, football, and, uh, Agent 007. Inteleon is Pokemon 007. It was, um, Sobble, wasn't it? Bames John. Uh, Sun Remind, do you do comms? I do do commissions. They're currently closed. And I am behind on them <laughs> currently. Um, but I do, depending on what, what people have in mind. Understood. Yeah, I'm sorry. They're, they're, I'm, I got a lot of big ones currently. This is for future things. Yeah, I have my two non-binary bat children to make models for. And then another model. And then other things that I'm working on. <laughs> on top of that. That's them! That's one of my non-binary bat children. <laughs> it's a PNG, but nonetheless. Please do your best. I will. Thank you for much of the cheers. Um, some kind of like monocle and a hat. Actually, a little hat with a flower on it would be very cute if I if it was like. Take all my money that I could spare. Said so, no. You've you've already paid for your commission. Use that money for things like food and your sub. You're in Final Fantasy fourteen, not a sub here. I wanted to see if son wanted to be my father too, so that our son is my father. <laughs> I do like working on designs. So as soon as. As soon as I, I do clear up, I'll be able to let you guys know. I love your ride, I wanted to copy. You're not allowed to you're not allowed to say sappy things at me while while nostalgic Pokemon music is playing in the background. It's illegal, actually. I think I'll take these little ears and then go like go like this. Actually, this one just gone. But it's true, I only state facts. We don't... 
that's not a valid currency here. <laughs> Facts? No. I'm currently trying for the millionth time to get a feel for the smooth curves while drawing. I'm such a noob, and I know I should probably try to create more things from the beginning, but I'm the type of person who needs to grind on basics. Oh, absolutely. Listen. There's no shame in uh, not being able to, you know, freehand things when drawing. Not everything is done in one fell swoop. Like, I don't know if you can quite tell when I draw on stream, but I don't... I, sometimes I'll, I'll do one line things, but I actually, uh, I chicken scratch a lot, especially when I sketch. You see me build up on the shapes like this. Like, it takes multiple lines to get it through. And there's also tools to help with that. I freehanded my art for Ray's birthday. Yeah! And you're doing great! Uh, hello again, Sunny. I bring a pretty serious warning if you don't mind me posting here. Uh... I'll allow it, and then we'll we'll judge from there. My first ever finished art, yeah. Uh, anyone in the Chicago area, or immediately in the southwest and west of Chicago metro area, uh, needs to take cover immediately. There are active, several active tornado warnings to the great general area. May have a twister on the ground as I type. Oh, if you're in the Chicago area, Chief, I please take care of yourself. You know, first and foremost, and anyone else who might be there, uh, that's a little far from me to be to be of concern. But thank you so much for the public service announcement. Uh, I'm further east, near Pennsylvania. Ah, still a bit far, but nonetheless. But uh, I appreciate it. I think in a Twitch chat is not really uh, the place for that. Uh, my sister and nephew live there. Ah. But um, I think generally the people who live in the area will get the notice before me, a Twitch streamer who does live on the East Coast, will, will get the news out to them. Sorry for the paragraph. Oh, no, no worries. Wait, I didn't read it yet. Um... I will say, the majority of my- I'm gonna call you guys out for this, but the the majority of my 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 watchers are from Canada. <laughs> so I, I don't believe it quite applies. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for, for the notice, though. Nonetheless. Uh, what out the, don't, don't out the country that doesn't exist. <laughs> Uh, surprisingly, a large chunk of you guys are from Canada. Lurkers or my my friends, uh, elsewise, otherwise. I'm not Canadian as much as I wish I was. <laughs> and then, like, some other people from uh, around the world. It's, like, Canada, Europe. Canada, U.S., Europe, and then, like, other outlying countries. So, so thank you so much for watching me, wherever you may be from. Watching me from your, your Wii plugged into your TV. Uh, I love the way you draw eyes, and you're so kind of modest. Me? Modest? I don't think you've typed in the cute command in my own chat enough. <laughs> uh, you say you don't like what you make, but every time I see it, I stare at it for hours. I'm so glad I got to meet and talk to you on a regular basis. Meta, that's really sweet. I, I always down myself on my own art because I'm constantly constantly but most of the time you ever see that chart of like the 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 art skill versus uh art perception chart that looks like that i'm constantly at the art skill does not exceed the art perception part but that just means i'm very good at critiquing art and not applying it to my own and i don't see that as a bad bad thing necessarily it just means that i'm better at judging art than i am at creating art which is fine boy this is me yeah Try other ones. I have a bunch of other secret ones that all give the same reply, but they're a bunch of hidden ones. <laughs> but Sen, you're amazing! But I'm shh. <laughs> also, Taco, do you know they're bringing these back? 
They're, they uh, did they're bring Choco Tacos back. I should promote that. I should promote my own asset. But I have to fix up my own asset first. <laughs> now that I know how to make them better. <laughs> you were the dumbest women on the stupidity when I mixed up Agumon and Gabumon. No, I think I mixed them up. It could be both our faults. Uh, you made what everyone associated me with. You've given me an identity beyond the name Kaido. <laughs> Uh, I wish I had more time to chat with you. You make my brain go brr. I'm flattered. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I could be someone that people can come into and just kind of like brain off or brain on. Sometimes I make you guys think for me because sometimes you guys know better than I do about topics. Sometimes I do make you guys think for me. Uh, but yeah, I I hope that this could be a place that people could just kind of chill out in. You know, take it easy. Except when I make you guys go into the gold saucer and play. But otherwise, you know, for the most part. That makes my brain go burr. But then deep voice sudden gives me to go burr, but concerning skill color burr. <laughs> sun when sun when he uses the deep voice. When when he goes deeper. Deeper beyond. It wouldn't be so silly if I just gave him a top hat, right? You've cut of the fox riz. <laughs> I I don't I don't think I have much riz. Unless <laughs> I'm sorry for the uh, sappy, but yeah, son again. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> you know, it's not what I set out to be as a streamer, but I am happy nonetheless to be there as a streamer. As a content creator. Wait, this is just playing on my Phantom Thief motif for the the detective game. <laughs> Ghost Thief. <laughs> It's like a circle. <laughs> it all circles. It just means that that's, that theming is just that strong, you know? That just that just proves how good of a theming and how good of an idea it is that it is that it translates across different mediums. How would I do it like a, a monocle? I feel like it wouldn't just be I feel like it wouldn't just be a like a glass monocle. Not that Pokemon do have like accessories that they carry on them. But a lot of the time it is stuff that is kind of integrated into their design. Like biologically. Hmm. And it's just the Zapfus? Oh. Sun's my happy place during the week. Well <laughs> hearing, hearing you guys say that I I you know I want this to be a chill place. Even in the times when it's not so chill, you know, you could still come in here and, and watch me be silly. You know, I'd, I'd hope that I can be that kind of streamer for you guys for as long as I stream. And even if I don't stream, I'll, I'll probably still be making content elsewhere. Galarian Weezing does have a top hat, but it is, like, in its body. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So I think I want to keep like the pink. I want to bring like the pink in, but as like a red. I would make like the eyes pink. Give it like give it like a, a like a rose sort of thing going on. Like ghosts and roses would be very cool as a motif, right? Get rid of the floating flower and put in the hat. Yeah. I think I didn't want to like totally get rid of it, but it kind of would be because like yeah, that's part of its trick, right? That's sort of a uh, part of its like a, a move set, the flower. Ghosts and Roses and their hit single, Welcome to the Sungle. <laughs> what if it's a joke rose that sprays water? Oh, like. Like, not really a thief, but it does, like, little pranks instead. Maybe. That'd be cute. Yeah, the like, the lapel sort of thing. More things would change, obviously. I'm just not... I'm just kind of, like, playing with... Working with on top of the design. Mainly. <laughs> well, you know what? If if I if I kind of I have to I have to do like a bit of research on like pokemon design patterns and stuff but if i do make this a ghost subtype could i could i like could i potentially have like a ghost like cape here oop that's not a close shape Doesn't mean they can't be funny. <laughs> I just like... I just enjoy... Workshopping ideas. Even if nothing comes of them. I think... Oh, I, I did this in the wrong layer. That's fine. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit more ghost like probably um if we're talking newer gen designs they actually it would probably go like a little transparent towards the end kind of like a that new dragon type i totally know what its name is dracopult Something, something a bit in the Dracopult direction. I give it more like a, a, a liquefied look. Offset it. Or your snobs' wings also have that too, like a bit of the transparency. Here's the thing, I love that the designs kind of evolve based on like the medium because the old Pokemon designs were based on how well do they read in like the Pokemon sprites. But now that we have all this like these cool effects, like these glows and transparencies that we could do, you know, we could do some crazy things with the the Mon's designs. You know, moving moving parts. Oh, it's just, yeah, but it's still the same, same design wise. Because Meowth Grotta is like a magician. 
That is its whole thing, right? Let's get rid of the neck thing, actually. Would that be so weird? What if it was like a bow tie instead? But that does- I feel like that maybe steps too closely to, uh, uh, Rowlet- Rowlet's line. No, Rowlet- Rowlet's final evolution has like an X. Because it's like a hoodie. So actually... Because it'd still be grass type, but it would just be grass ghost. Uh, it was censored, I assuming, because it can be used as an offensive term. <laughs> that's that's sort of a term that you call someone. Yeah. Any anything that could be used derogatory. <laughs> it was a, hi. Hi, Faye. I love this model. I also love this model. It's not... It's very minimally rigged. <laughs> but hi. That's... That's the artist formerly known as Faye Graves. Now, Candy Crypt. The tail is so floofy. Yeah, I'm, I'm manually wagging my tail by, by pressing a hotkey. <laughs> hi. <laughs> How are you? Blah. Hi, squiggles, and I can hydrate. Thank you. How are you guys? Faye looks so cute with the makeup on. I'm just in a pair of Groucho glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're like coffin shaped glasses lenses. <laughs> I'm scriggling I, what I think will be a a Kalos region uh phantom thief Arsene Lupin themed uh Meowscarada. Cause I think Arsene Lupin is French. I could be wrong and this whole thing is just misguided. <laughs> I need to draw myself in the- oh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> but yeah, um... Where's my- where's my whole thing? Oh, actually, it's this document. Ich. Ich. Right? I minimize this. Pokemon! You Pokemon! Got announced. For 2025. But Legends... Z... A. And I- I have so many speculations on this thing. I am going with zero expectations. I'll take whatever they give, but like I I would still like to go, oh, I predicted that, you know, regardless. It's so exciting. Oh, you have to watch the trailer. It's only like two minutes long, but it has to do with the development, a redevelopment plan for Lumo City. Now what does that mean? We don't know. I hope, I hope it means every Pokemon will be in it. They're bringing back Mega Evolutions. Even if they don't bring back every Pokemon, we're going to see new Pokemon designs regardless. <laughs> because A to Z. Well, it has a different meaning. How familiar are you with uh, X and Y? Okay. Right? Because obviously Pokemon Z, that stands for uh, Zygarde, right? <laughs> so the Z with like the the hex hex uh pattern is is Zygarde. That was my first real Pokemon game. Oh yeah! Oh, it was so good watching the transition from. I'd say black and white peak of the DS gameplay for 2D. Like there was a lot of things that they did with it that was like really impressive for the 2D sprites. But then the transition over to the 3D on the same console. Wow. 
There's so much. A might mean alpha. So there's a lot of things in X and Y that allude to the Z and the A. Z being Zygarde, you know, the last letter of the alphabet also, X, Y, Z, by uh, Yvetol, Xerneas, and... Uh, well, Xerneas, Yvetol, and Zygarde. So what's the A? For one, there's a character in the series called AZ. He was a king from 3,000 years ago during a great war. And the, and the war produced a weapon that was so powerful, it wiped out life and is implied to have created the creator in uh, Scarlet and Violet. A stands for Apom. Ambipom. <laughs> but what else does A possibly stand for? The weapon from 3,000 years ago happened to look like this. With some, with some, you know, patterns, some patterns, particularly on on the edges, that that happen to that happen to have this sort of shape in them, don't they? Ooh, I'm doing jazz hands. <laughs> Lore dive. Who knows? So we can be going anywhere from a couple years ago, maybe a bit to the future, to three thousand years ago in the past. A stands for apple. Jazz hands. I can't. I can wag my tail, though. That's how excited I am. <laughs> but, Z to A. Why Z to A? Because Legends has to do with the past. And I did come up with this on stream. But, we do canonically have Pokemon from the future in Scarlet and Violet. We have, like, those very robotic Pokemon that, that came from the future. So, not only... Could we be going into the past of, uh, you know, the Great War? Where did the where did Area Zero come from? We could also be seeing. Where does the future go? Our our technologically advanced French city, Lum Lumio City. Like, where will it go in the future? There's so much to do, so much to see, so much to play with. I'm very excited for that. So I had my um my bracket board of who I thought was gonna be. Uh, based on this was the generation. I don't think we're going to get the at generation Pokemon. And these are the generations we already got in uh, Legends Arceus. So here, these but you know, regard, disregarding that, these are my predictions thematically for what Pokemon we're going to get. Because we're going to France. Legends had you know, Japan-themed roles for the Pokemon. And I think, with with Leeway, we have a Napoleon and Polion, Weedcat, as a Phantom Thief, Arsene Lupin, and then uh, Tepig. I'm still not sure. French truffles, perhaps? A truffle pig? We have uh, Leeway. I love Sprigatito. Sprigatito is the first non-water starter I've had in a game except for Gen 1 because I started with Pokemon Yellow. So your starter there is Pikachu and you get all the other starters later. Um, but every, every other game that I've played, I started with Water until Sprigatito. Not that I don't love Quaxley, but I love Sprigatito more. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's what we were, we were talking about today. I have My potential for my, my Phantom Thief, Ghost Grass... Gentleman Meowskarada. France loves their pigs, though. I had that hunch. I just don't know enough about French culture to say, like, oh, here's, like, a solid thing that, you know, Tepig would turn into, you know? Phantom Thief. Gentle Phantom, fan gen Phantom is a ghost. Gentleman Thief. Someone gave him a diamond-tipped cane, like Kaido Kid. A cane! Ooh, yeah. I was gonna give them, like, a magic wand, but a cane actually works better. I also love Kaido Kid. So you, you've struck a chord. <laughs> some kind of... Some kind of... He's great. I actually... I've never watched the anime. I have to watch the anime, because I think it's good. I watched so much Conan. I have to finish Conan, but I don't remember where I left off, and I don't want to start from scratch. <laughs> the floating thing Masquerade has is a yo-yo. Yeah, so I took the flower, and I put it in, like, the hat and the lapel. 
So instead of like a, a yo-yo attack, they have like their own unique moves based on their, their dual type. Sam, I stopped years ago. I stopped like halfway. And then I heard the announcement like, oh, like uh, Detective Conan has hit its thousandth, thousandth chapter. And I said, I'm never catching up. I'm never going to remember where I started from that series. Those types are my favorite. They're very good. Better get to skimming until you recognize something. Here's the problem. This is this is not my <laughs> this is not my critique of the series, but there is a lot of like formatting of each case that is very similar to each other. So I feel like I'm going to get into a case and go, "Oh, this feels exactly the same as the other case because it's crime has happened." You know, they get the clues. The 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 detective dad guy falls asleep and then Kaido kid puts the little the microphone on and, and pretends to to be the detective and goes I've solved the case. <laughs> I don't think there's a single ghost I don't like sidewise. I'm like that for dark type. I'm very biased at dark type Pokemon. Uh I think it's very cool. And ghost types for the same reason. I don't know why. Like something something very distinct about the typing that comes across in almost all the designs. Dark is nice. He is not well after that many tranquil. He's famous though. <laughs> he he literally becomes famous as like the sleeping detective or something, right? <laughs> I mean like Impidim's evolution? It's so interesting. I don't like love Impidim's uh Mord Mordred? Why do I feel like that's the name of it? But it it's hair. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking, isn't it? Let me just have a brap and have a nap and have a brain blast. I actually went to um. I actually participated in a couple of Conan collab things. More grim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds more familiar. I'm sorry, mind palace, like that also not insane term. <laughs> Let me enter my mind palace. Oh, nice try. Nice try. You didn't catch me. Uh. Also, he stops being a kid at some point. I don't. Is this still ongoing? I don't know what they're solving at, uh, at this point because they've... Bleh. I feel like they've... <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna use up all your Pokeballs. Ooh. Ugh. Nice try. You'll have to you'll have to run from the battle to buy more Pokeballs. I might not be here when you get back. Ooh. The cases are so repetitive, but some are so creative and insane, and I think about some of them so much. You've gained one concussion. <laughs> Like the one where uh, some of them don't even translate well to English because there was one case. Ugh. Oh, we got, we got another challenger here, huh? There was one case I remember that they determine who the culprit was based on the dialect that they were speaking of. And they had this whole thing about like figuring out the difference in the dialects and like, oh, this person wasn't talking about a person in this region of Japan. This is a nickname for like a thing. It was crazy. Another one where it was like, the murder weapon was the wire in this lady's bra. <laughs> the underwire. Because she has a scar. Because she sharpened the tip of it to stab a man. <laughs> and there was like a roller coaster one. I, I love Detective Conan. <laughs> Blah. Thank you for the yaoi. Uh, I got it. If you stay in the uh, Pokeball, I'll give you the K all the K barbecue you want. Ooh. But I don't want to stay in a Pokeball. You gotta do, like, a luxury ball at minimum. <laughs> the letter says use instead of you. That's it. <laughs> it's that Joey Wheeler motherfucker over there. <laughs> like, it's so great. And then you add in a Kaido kid, who's a, a gentleman thief. Thematic, I love Kaido. I have so much Kaido Kid merch on my desk. <laughs> I like him for no reason whatsoever, other than aesthetically. He's cool. His story is nice. Uh, he's a silly guy. A magician, even. And I think he makes a great ship with Conan. 
somehow I knew. <laughs> I'll get you a sunball. Ooh. I'll also take... I like dusk balls for some reason. But it might just be because I catch a lot of dark type Pokemon. Maybe that might be unrelated. Love balls are also good. Uh, you're like me about the merch, but mine's with your merch. Ah. <laughs> Don't tell my thief sun model when? I could. Ooh, maybe I could. I have to get like every other model I want out of the way though. I I have an outfit planned that is very close though. I'll tell you that. I'll be a custom sun ball. Where it's one of a kind, just like you. Wow. <laughs> uh I I forgot what I was talking about. Oh. Kaido Kid, great aesthetic. I want, I want, there's so many Detective Conan movies. There's like 17 movies now. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> it, it has to do with the magician outfit. I have to make it soon. It'll go on, uh, it'll go on my main model, but just like an alternate outfit, you know? Which, my main model is set up uh, for outfits. I just haven't made them. I also was just making like a, a walking stick, but... What would be like a rose, like a flower? A rose walking cane. Hmm. Why would you, son, make an outfit for your model when you could just make a whole ass new model, right? The only thing is, I put a lot of effort into modeling the face. I'd say, like, the mouth... Um... The mouth takes the uh, the most effort to, to model. Along with, like, the eyes and stuff like that. So, that would already be pre-rigged, and then I could spend more time on the outfit. And other little doohickeys. Actually, animal ears are the biggest pain to rig. <laughs> I would say... I would say that is the biggest thing... I would be saving time on. Um, but yeah. Like, like this... I spent hours just trying to adjust this in time for stream, and it was already rigged. It's not even fully rigged, but it's like passable for, for a half-body, you know, model. For something I'm only gonna use today and then forget I have. Handsome. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't try to calm my model from you then. I plan for animal- Oh, no, that's fine. It's the fact that I have made, uh, like, four variations of my model at this point, and I have to re-rig them from scratch every time. <laughs> Rigging them is fine. It's the fact that I have to do it with my, my hairstyle and my, my ears and coloring and stuff. You truly are very handsome. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I can't think of anything else particular. Maybe... A ruffled... It'd be cute if this was ruffled. What is this model's name? I will request it in a shapeshift for Demon in a few days, uh, to remind you of it. <laughs> um, this would be Flareon, just like the Pokemon. Because I think that my base form is very Eevee-like in coloration, and I have a bunch of designs based on the other Eeveelutions. Flareon, indeed. It's based on... Let me see if I could find the, the sketch I did originally. Enable shapeshift. No. Because next stream is Ace Attorney stream, and I don't do theming for that. 
are you excited for what trial Thursday? You missed. But next week I might allow it. Here, in fact, let me let me first draw the other sleeve. So I don't forget that that's what I wanted here. Like something of a like a thing for that. Pants? I don't know. Meatball stream. <laughs> I ha I want to properly re rig meatball. Because I, I like the art, but I can do better on the rigging. I might, maybe I'll stream rigging. Pants? I don't know what to do for pants. <laughs> what do I give a po- I, I don't know how to give Pokemon pants. Don't mention those here. I'm wearing pants. Uh, well, here's, here's the piece. I drew this like, oh god, when did I draw this? I drew this before, uh, but almost a year. I drew this for Pokemon. <laughs> no way. Okay, the original I drew like way before. I drew for the previous Pokemon day. This is from 2022, by the way. Um, yeah, so this is base Eevee, because I think I look like base Eevee. And then here's a, a Jolteon form, where I'm wearing cargo pants. A streamer card revoked. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get banned on Twitch if I don't wear pants. Time is a flat circle. We've been here before, and we'll be here again. I think I'm just wearing, like, the Jolteon. The yellow? Yeah. <laughs> I also like the, the hoodie I gave myself. Uh, Vaporeon, which actually I really like this one. I could I could do it better, but I I think I like this one quite a bit. And this is the Flareon one. This is based on. I like the hair I did here. It's very smooth. But it, it this is what this is based on, tail and all. Oh, by the way, this is this is the the full form of this. I love the faces. <laughs> yeah. I might do I might do Vaporeon for the summer. Your paws are perfect. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot I colored the bottom of my feet. Damn it. I also gave myself people hands on this form. Maybe I'll fix that. I thought they were just cute outfits. Well, thematically. My ears changed a little bit. And I wanna do I gotta do the last few too. I gotta I gotta make um designs for the last few EVs. But yeah. I love Jolteon. So I also I like all of these to be honest. I think these came out pretty good, if I do say so myself. I also drew the Eevees really cute. <laughs> Target acquired. Uh, I just learned there's an excellent mount in 14. Target acquired, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of good mounts. Some of them are much harder to get than the others. Yeah. They they really reward the high-tier players. Which, you know, good for them. You just have to get good. Uh, current Savage Raid would be... That would be, um, like the Aglaia and Euro Euros. Oh, it's for Pandemonium. Now that does make sense. Not Alliance Raid. That would be insane. <laughs> I don't know why I thought, like, for, like, for, like, Th Thelia and uh, Aglaia? And you 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 force you for you foreseen the one I never know how to pronounce, but no, a pandemonium makes way more sense. I would like to do pandemonium savage. That looks fun, but I just need to find then seven other people who want to 
do savage. <laughs> I would love a hard mode of Kissel Tower in Nier. Nier, maybe not. Nier, Nier would be crazy. It also would be canon to the Nier universe. But uh, Crystal Tower hard, like savage, would be fun. Post a Crystal Tower. I'm I'm gonna call this out right now because it's just something that we would have to do eventually. But um, so Meta is doing a Realm Reborn, and something they added required to a Realm Reborn because of story uh story importance is the Crystal Tower raids. So Meta, if you do the Crystal Tower raids, you have to pay attention to the story. It's so important because when I played it, I skipped through the entire story because it wasn't required at the time. I just wanted to get to the content. So there, there, there's like a storyline that has to do... Uh, they are, yes. It is the only raid that you're required to do. But because all of the characters are, like, crucial to the rest of the story, <laughs> plot-wise. Like, endgame important. I completely forgot who that guy was later on. I felt so bad because I wasn't, like, as emotional as everyone else who was playing with me. I'm like, uh, okay. And they're, like, sobbing in VC. Uh, are they post or prior? Uh, referring to what? I was sobbing. I feel bad because I figured out who this character was. Uh, are they po uh, post? They are. Uh, but before you get to, before you finish the post patch quests, uh, you you will have to run this before you can continue on very far. They just kind of say, like, oh, like, by the way, you have to do this story or else you're going to miss out on, you know, the important plot. So, like, linearly, it, it, you do it before, as a side quest, before you go to Heaven's Word. Yeah, it's very fun, but we need a lot of people to do it. So anyone who's interested in going to uh, Crystal Marlboro one day and we all just run Crystal Tower for fun, it's great. I actually, I love the raids, but uh, people don't like Crystal Tower just because it's the first one you do. And that's, like, if you do a roulette... That's just the one you're gonna get. Uh, I need no. You don't have to do it before you get the car. You have to do it before you continue to the first expansion. That's all. So once you do, once you do the final dungeon of A Realm Reborn, you're you basically have access to everything else. As long as you you know get them unlocked and are the level to do so. But it's not required for the card. We would have told you that. It is just something that you had to do. What are the starting towns in 14? Old Dog, Lima, Mimosa, and what else? Gridania. Grenadine. Gridania, Limsa, Liminsa, uh, and Old Dog. <laughs> and yeah, I get the joke. After Praetorium, I'm good to click. Yes. Uh, well, not after Praetorium. You do have to finish the whole quest, but it's the quest that Praetorium is in. <laughs> but yeah, once once you finish that, you're going to get credits. And then it'll say, congratulations, here's all your cutscenes. Go, go do the rest of the story now, and then you'll be good. Yeah. But you're very close to that. Petra is going to be a bit busy this week because she has a friend visiting. Um, but... She'll be able to do community night and stuff like that, so we'll do whatever's up with that. Probably we'll do Praetorium in that if you're if you're right up against there. As long as you're level fifty, you can kind of get through it. It's just a lot of cutscenes. We'll see what everyone's up to. We'll see what Pedro has planned. Does Grania have anything of note? I know I didn't play much, but I feel like I don't remember its uh, name pretty bad. Um, like in story wise, or like just what it has. Because Gridania is the forest. It is... Well, the Black Shroud in general. Uh, that's where the Chocobo are raised. So you go to the Black Shroud a lot for any Chocobo-related quests. Gridania... It has the Maketo Amphitheater in Old Gridania. So uh, any any seasonal quests like Valentine's Day, Halloween event quests will always take place in Gridania. It also has the uh, Sanctum of the Twelve, which is where you get married. Once you hit level 50, you can marry other players. Uh, it has a couple benefits to that too, and that is where the uh, church is located, basically. Kani Sena is kind of useful. Or useful later. Oh yeah, the um, P Pajal. Pajali? 
I don't remember what the race is called, but it's a sub race of uh, hearers who develop like a uh, horns and maintain a youthful look, and they have a, a special relationship with the forest spirits. Pajal, yeah, the white witch, yeah, yeah. Uh, my takeaway from the trailer, aside from being super solid, Sylveon mentioned, yeah. Mega Sylveon. Give us Mega Sylveon. Uh, the Archers, the Archer Guild, the Lancer Guild, uh, Con Conjure Guild, and then, uh, it is also where you pick up Gunbreaker at level 60. And I believe it's gonna be where one of the new quests... I think that's where... Pictomancer's gonna be? I don't remember. Mega Sylveon need to be mollified in flesh ribbons. <laughs> it's also the first city where you can start as a, a level one as a healer. Yes. Con conjure. I could be wrong. I don't play as a healer. There's also a carpenter, leather worker, and botanist. Yes. You have to go into the leather workers guild. And jump up on one of the shelves and do slash lookout for your for your little you know lookout journal thing. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it's got for it. It has like a really big indoor like merchant area by the leather workers guild. It's also where the um achievement guy is. It's the it has the the guy by the waterfall. In in. Old Gridania, and it has the, the guy where you turn into your achievement certificates, and that's where you get the Magister Death Claw! Akpulu Falls, yeah! Wow, the tree huggers are the farmer are the farmers, real nice. <laughs> also, the summoner NPC. There's a lot to do in Gridania. Honestly, there's a lot to do kind of evened out between them. It's so funny, actually, because I was just talking about this with Petra. And I think Vortigan, uh, where Petra was like, so, like, Old Da has the gold saucer, and then Limsa has the wolf's pier. What is, what's Gridania got? And th I instantly said, weddings, the church. <laughs> you get married there. <laughs> She's like, oh, you know what, that makes sense, yeah. Ads. You know, this is a good time to, to start peeking at who we're going to raid I had an idea. I don't know if they're still on, but we're gonna take we're gonna take a peeky. Whoop! That's me. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Anyone else we might be missing? Son, uh, is Tall Son married to Petrazalt? No, but. We might. <laughs> I'm making Petra marry me on our mains because I don't know why we haven't, but it's so convenient. Melton, I'm we are raiding out Rhinoc. I am so sorry. <laughs> as much as I would love to draw Melton. I'm I'm looking for someone to raid. Where are we going? Uh, well, I'm taking a peek to make sure no one's like ending stream right now. But let me let me go back to. I will have to refund you this. Yeah, Ray is marathoning, but I'm double checking to see if you know someone else isn't on right now. Okay, we're gonna say hi to Ray. What do you want as a raid message? Uh, the point was, the simple man would. Literally take two seconds, darn. I, I've put down my pen. I'm sorry. I also definitely take more than two seconds, even though the issues are supposed to be quick. Uh, but we're gonna say hi. What would you guys... Yeah, what would you guys like to uh, have as a raid message, or silly raid message? Awesome, for the ghost thief mask, out of pants, extend the white fluff down to the top... Uh, of what look like loafers instead of the high boot boots. Yeah, I might give them like a belt or something, like a something a bit akin to like utility belt, like a tool belt for tricks to hide in, you know, to to break up the singular 
uh, like designed, right? So like the whole body isn't like bat cat, kind of. <laughs> not not unlike. Yeah, what do we what do we want to yell at Ray? We could be a bit silly at Ray's. He's he's probably fine with it, maybe, perhaps. Um, was Batman Ghost Grass? I thought he was dark. Ghost Grass for this regional variant. Because it's, it's dark grass normally, but we want it to be a phantom thief. Phantom alluding to ghost. And I think it's a missed opportunity to not use a ghost for a phantom, you know? Talking about actual Batman? Oh. Actual Batman would be normal type. <laughs> normal dark? Yeah, because he'd be immune to ghost type. No, we're typing. Just one shot from a punch. <laughs> that's why that's why we give him like a a a a nature we we give him like a passive nature that like helps with that anyway happy pokemon day raid use whatever emotes you'd like uh if you have my emotes maybe maybe some kind of combination like like this at the end perhaps if you'd like uh but happy happy Pokemon day. Uh, of course I didn't fully copy my own emotes. Thanks for the stream, son. Appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for coming and chilling with me today. I always like it when you come in and uh, listen to me talk about silly things and my ideas and how excited I get for these silly things. <laughs> and I hope you guys get excited or at least uh, you know, join in for my excitement when they manifest. Your ideas are fun, yeah. And when my predictions for Pokemon ZA come true, you heard it here. <laughs> Happy Pokemon Day! Yeah! Happy Pokemon Day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, it's always very fun to have you guys here. Be nice to Ray. You can be, like, a little bit mean to Ray, but, you know, bo mostly be nice to Ray. He is, uh, it's post-birthday for Ray, and he's building Legos right now. You know, people, people like hand cams, right? <laughs> and I love you guys very much. Have a good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Petra's, um, you know, community night. <laughs> Happy Pokey Ray Day! <laughs> Wait, that might be funny to mix in there. Uh, but I love you guys very much, okay? Good night. Take care of yourselves. Or we'll be back on Thursday, 2 p.m. EST, for uh, Trial Thursdays. We're, we're getting to a very fun uh, past, past case. We're doing a flashback case, okay? I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.